Okay, before I get on with showing you how to clean up your computer and make your gaming experience a lot better and a lot faster, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming content that I upload every day. I mainly cover retro emulation setup guides, but today we're looking at cleaning up your computer and making it running a lot faster. And as the cool kids will say, let's boost that FPS situation for you. So first of all, what I'm gonna suggest doing is cleaning your computer. And to do this, I'm using Windows 11, but if you're using Windows 10, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing, I should imagine. So what we're gonna do first, is if we just go to search bar, just type in clean, and you'll likely see this cleanup appear. So what this is gonna do is just clean out our hard drive so it's going to clean all those unnecessary files that we don't want uh temporary internet files caches that type of thing what i do suggest doing from here is rather than using this and pressing ok just go to clean up system files okay so right now i can save myself 105 megabyte but if you've not done this before you could be saving yourself gigabytes of space. So just press OK and delete files. And this will take a little bit of time cleaning up your drive. So while this is cleaning up and deleting all those unnecessary files, what I'm just gonna suggest doing next to make things run a little bit faster is checking out Razer Cortex. This is Razer Cortex, I'm just gonna open this. And you can download this from the Razer Cortex website. I'll leave the link in my description. It's absolutely 100% free to download too. And what this program actually does is disables background operations going on. So if you're playing a game, a retro game, a modern day game on your gaming laptop, you're likely gonna have lots of processes operating in the backgrounds that you don't need. And what Game Booster does, it disables them. So for example, if we look here, we got enable CPU core, we got Windows key, disable CPU sleep mode, and so on. And what this does is takes all those unnecessary background apps from running, and then it pretty much puts it all into your gaming. So what we're gonna do is just press boost now. And it's now releasing memory, it's beginning to disable those background apps that I've got. And as we can see, I've just released 2.72 gigabyte of memory for my gaming. So of course this is pretty substantial. So this is another very good app to use. Like I said, I'll leave the link in my description so you can uh, download this and use this one yourself. Something else you need to consider is if you're using a GPU and you probably are if you're retro gaming or even modern day gaming, just make sure that, say you're using GeForce, just make sure your drivers are up together and up to date. So I'm gonna just type into my search bar, GeForce Experience. And again, this is an app for GeForce users. And what we can do from uh, GeForce Experience is just go to drivers and then always check for updates. And it will tell me at the bottom here, you have the latest NVIDIA Studio driver. Uh, if it needs a fresh install of a new driver for this, you'll likely get a little window pop up or a little tab just here saying install new update. And let me just remind you that not every driver update for NVIDIA is 100% perfect. Uh, sometimes you'll download updates for your graphics card and it's meant to improve things, but sometimes on some occasions it might break a couple of games. So if that's the case, then you can also use Windows rollback feature in order to get back your older version of your NVIDIA driver. Something else which I suggest doing is defragging your computer. So of course, most of you out there will be aware of this. It's pretty much the oldest trick in the book. If you don't know about it, again, go to your search bar, just type in defrag and optimized drives will come up. I'm gonna run this as administrator. And so this is gonna identify which drive I've got. So this is obviously my main primary drive and I'm using a SSD, a solid state drive, uh, which is of course my C drive. So what we're gonna do is just make sure this is highlighted and go to optimize. 
And what this is going to do is just pretty much clean up files that it's very hard to get to and understand if you're not a computer boffin. And it tidies things up. It tidies lots of files that we can't actually see. And it just makes your computer run a lot faster. So leave this to run. If you're not using a SSD and you're using a mechanical hard drive, one of those old school ones, then this process will literally take hours in some cases, especially if you've got a lot on your computer. And obviously it goes without saying, but every now and again, just check if you're totally up to date with your system updates. So as we know, I'm using Windows 11, so check for updates. You're up to date, so ignore this. Just go to check for updates. And normally it comes up with some sort of security downloads, which is always handy just to make sure uh, we're secure from people on the internet trying to steal our ID or whatever they're trying to do. <laughs> Something else to consider, especially for NVIDIA users, is we actually got a NVIDIA control panel. If I just go down here and open it up, just double left click. And this is going to open up NVIDIA control panel. Just make sure you go on to manage 3D settings and under global settings, we'll find preferred graphics processor. So by default, this is likely going to be on integrated graphics. If you drop this down to high performance NVIDIA processor, we then got the ability to tailor or customize how our NVIDIA hardware is working with the computer. So for example, I had an issue a little while back with a NVIDIA update and what this did was under VSync or vertical VSync, it actually changed this to something like off. So I turned this on and all of a sudden my RetroArch games were running a lot faster. They were no longer lagging. Something else we can do under Manage 3D Settings is by going to Program Settings, we can actually tailor a particular program. So for this example, what I've done is select RetroArch into Add Your Own Program. Just go to Add, and then this is going to bring up a window. You can choose an app of your choice. Uh, like I said, I'm using RetroArch, but it might be RetroBat, LaunchBox, or whatever. And just make sure to add selected program. And once that's done, we can go to high performance processor and we can actually tailor all of these options just here to make this particular app run a lot better. So for example, we got anti-aliasing FXAA. If I just drop this down, turn it on or turn it off and so on. So there's lots there to consider and always make sure to apply. Okay, next up, if you don't like using Razer Cortex, we can actually use Control or in Delete together. And we're going to select Task Manager. And once we're inside a Task Manager, we can then close background applications. So in a sense, this is what Razer Cortex does. But if you don't want to download this, this is another way of doing it. But this is going to take some time going through each one of these background processes. And the way to find out which is taking the most resources up on your computer is if we take a look at memory usage, uh, CPU usage, you'll see that in this case, what I'm running right now, this AmptML service executable is taking up quite a bit of memory as well as using some CPU. So if I just open this up, we can actually see this is actually Microsoft Defender Antivirus Service. So say for example, this is something that you don't want running in the background, just right click on it, end task, and that's gonna close down that background app. And if we just scroll down, we'll likely come across more of these hungry memory applications going on in the background. Another one just here, so Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation. Again, if you want to end this task, Something else which is really useful to improve in your gaming performance is to make in your wallpaper as bleak as possible. And in bleak, I mean blank and very boring, plain looking. So what we're going to do in my case is disable the lively wallpaper, which is the matrix looking wallpaper or dynamic wallpaper as it used to be called, running in the background. So I'm going to close this down. And what we can then do is just actually use a static color, so a solid color. If I go to my search and just go to settings, under settings, if you go down to personalization, or you can right click on your desktop and select personalization, we can then go to background and select a background color just here. 
and as you can see that's now changed it to black which i think looks a lot smarter but it's going to be less straining on your hardware which like i say is going to make your gaming experience a lot smoother and we can also drop down to the taskbar open up taskbar settings by right clicking on that taskbar and from here just make sure things like widgets is disabled and under apps we can go to installed apps and from here we can then start uninstalling stuff that we don't necessarily want so when you first boot up windows 11 for the first time or even windows 10 it's jam-packed with just trash that you don't particularly want uh, for example spotify comes with uh, windows 11 and other random stuff that you don't really want it's just microsoft's way of promoting other businesses which is likely paying microsoft to advertise on their operating systems so if there's a lot of stuff on here you don't particularly want we just can go onto these little dots and left click and uninstall those apps that we don't want so got web search from microsoft so again just click on those dots by left clicking and uninstall something else to look at is we got a gaming section just here and under game bar if we open this up just make sure that allow your controller to open game bar is selected off so what game bar does is pretty much gives us almost like a user interface for modern day gaming i suppose uh, just make sure this is turned off and if we come out of this and go to game mode it says optimize your pc for play if i left click on that I'm actually going to turn this one off. In my personal opinion, I don't think this does much, but it's another app which we can disable just to boost FPS. And if we go back to personalization again, what we're going to do next is go to colors and make sure that transparency affects us off. So what this is doing is giving windows a really nice glossy look almost uh, to make it look nice and modern. But actually what this is doing is again, it's taking up resources. So just make sure that one's turned off. And from Windows 10 to Windows 11, we can actually change power settings. So let me show you how this is done. If we go to start and use settings, from settings, we're gonna just go down to system. And from here, we're gonna go down to power and battery. And from here under power mode, if you drop this down, you might have this the best power efficiency or balanced. If you really want to give all your games everything the computer has, then just make sure this is on best performance.